Greetings and welcome to Living Supernaturally. It's such a joy to come together once again to just ponder on God's Word and pray together. This week we're talking about assurance and today we talk about God never lets us go. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5 and 6. Keep your life free from love of money and be content with what you have. For he has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. So we can confidently say, the Lord is my helper. I will not fear. What can man do to me? Today's verses from Hebrews are based on two Old Testament scriptures. In Deuteronomy chapter 31 and verse 6, Moses offers great encouragement to God's people. And in Psalms 118, 6 and 7, the writer states that with confidence that when the Lord is your helper, there is no need to fear. The Lord is my strength and my song, and He has become my salvation. And these texts are often used to comfort believers facing times of crisis. Knowing the assurance of God's presence, we are comforted and filled with hope. We know that God is always with us. He will never leave us. He will never forsake us. When we put our hand in God's hand, He grabs it and He will never let it go. God holds on to us with all that He has. But even in the good times, we face challenges. The first part of our passage today reminds us to love one another as brothers and sisters. We are, we are called to show compassion and hospitality to strangers. We are called to remember people who are mistreated. Our marriages are to be honorable before God. These are not easy tasks. The only way we can serve God with confidence is remembering that the Lord Jesus died for us so that we can joyfully live for Him. If you could earn your salvation by working for it, we can lose it the moment we stop working for it. But you didn't earn your relationship with God. It was a free gift. Once it, once it has been given, God will never take it back. That should be an unimaginable source of joy for every believer. You and I can stand with this assurance that God is with us. He is always there for us and He will never let us go. Let us pray. Father, we thank You for this day. We thank You for your promises that are faithful, your word that is true and eternal. I pray, Lord, that you will be with each one of us, no matter what season that we are going through. As the psalmist says, Lord, help us to stand on these promises. You will never let go of us, that your hand is always holding us. Even though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we will fear no evil, for you are with us, God. You are our shepherd and our rock of salvation. Give you all the praise and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.